Brought to you by wikivd.com Blink Comics Blink is a fictional character a superheroine appearing in American comic books published by Marvel Comics usually those featuring the X-Men. Publication History Created by writer Scott Lobdell and artist Joe Madureira, Blink first appeared in Uncanny X-Men 17, an unstable mutant with the ability to teleport. Blink was one of the mutants captured by the Phalanx. During the 1994 X-Universe crossover event Phalanx Covenant, in print, the character died within a month of her first appearance. The primary universe version of Blink returned to publication in 2009. Lobdell and Madureira redefined Blink as a more confident and assertive character in the parallel universe storyline Age of Apocalypse. As a result of her redefinition and increased exposure during that event, Blink became a fan favorite as exemplified in her return in the regular time title Exiles in 2001. The character was featured in the four-issue Blink Limited series in 2000. Fictional character biography In the primary Earth-616 continuity of the Marvel Universe Blink was introduced in the Phalanx Covenant storyline, in which the extraterrestrially derived techno-organic beings called the Phalanx captured her and several other young mutants to assimilate their powers. This version of Blink was tense and panicky and frightened of her powers. Clarice could not properly control her powers, and apparently was unable to teleport anything in an intact form. Instead, any object or person caught in Blink's teleportation field, also known as a Blink Wave, would be shredded. She eventually used her abilities to cut up Harvest, a phalanx entity guarding her and her peers. But she was caught in her own teleportation field and apparently died in the process. Because of her sacrifice the remaining captives were set free and became the X-Men Junior Team Generation X. Dark Reign When Hercules travels to the underworld Blink is among the dead characters seen in Erebus gambling for their resurrection. Unlike the others, Blink just stands there watching them gamble. Necrosha Prior to the events of Necrosha, Selene begins gathering a new inner circle consisting of mutants with death-related powers, taking a ship to the spot where Blink had fought Harvest and reaching into the air Selene's hand disappeared and Blink was then pulled out of nowhere. Selene reveals to Blink she had actually been stranded in another realm after her fight, with Harvest where she remained in a not-quite-dead state all the while suffering in agony. After healing her Selene manipulates Blink by stating she has been looking for her for a while, and could he hear her crying out for help. Selene furthers her manipulations by telling her Emma Frost could hear her as well but left her behind, claiming she was too dangerous to save. Selene convinces the young mutant to join her cause claiming to be able to put an end to her cycle of pain and betrayal. Several weeks later Selene and Blink go to New Orleans where Blink kills a man using her powers to split split him into numerous fragments and along with Selene, takes his mansion as a base of operations. Blink visits Selene's birthplace in Europe before traveling to Rome and New York, where they slaughter the New York branch of the Hellfire Club. After they are done, she teleports Selene's forces to Utopia where they attack the X-Men before returning to Selene, where they then journey to Genosha. When Selene dispatches her in a circle, to re retrieve the mystical knife necessary to complete her ritual Blink teleports them onto Utopia. In the confrontation, she is recognized by Emma Frost. During the fight Blink and Senyaka attack Archangel Senyaka ensnaring him with his coils, and restraining him before Blink uses her powers to obliterate Archangel's wings.
After finding the, the knife, Blink teleports to Genosha with a captured warpath. Blink is present when Eli Bard gives Celine the knife and is killed in the process. She is later sent along with Thunderbird to watch over Warpath, however he is eventually rescued by the Vanisher. When Celine began absorbing the many souls around her she commands her minions to get her more souls, to which Blink teleports most of the resurrected mutants and former mutants to Genosha for Celine to absorb. During the final fight Blink evades Domino's shots. Using her teleporting abilities to outmaneuver her, Blink fails to account for the similar abilities of the Vanisher who plucks Blink back out of her teleports. He then holds her while Archangel slashes her with his wings taking revenge for her earlier assault. During Celine's downfall Blink flees taking the heavily wounded Mortis with her to serve and protect. Some time after the events of Necrocher, Emma Frost, and a small team of X-Men consisting of Blindfold Pixie Husk Warpath, and former Sorcerer Supreme Doctor Strange tracked Blink down in Eastern Europe, where S.H.E.S. attempting to resurrect Celine. After a brief battle Blindfold predicts Blink is going to commit suicide but is stopped by Emma who manages to help her realize Celine lied to her. Doctor Strange steps in and casts a spell, which successfully purges her of Celine's corrupting influence. Feeling remorse and guilt over killing for Celine Blink breaks down and Emma tries to reassure her it wasn't her fault and offers to be there for her as well a place with the X-Men. Overwhelmed with emotion Blink teleports off claiming she can't and is last seen looking out into the sunrise in San Francisco. New Mutants Following the schism event Cyclops commissions the New Mutants to tie up any loose ends. One of them is finding Blink. Cypher manages to find her tracking her to a series of natural disasters connected to a band working with the New Mutants discover the band is being controlled by part of a sentient extraterrestrial ship, creating violent chaos energy as a call for help. After dispatching the sentient ship, Blink is offered the chance of coming back to Utopia or West Chester. Blink chooses the latter and joins Wolverine at the Jean Grey School for Higher Learning. Blink later visits the new mutants who were depressed over their recent mission to Paradise Island. Learning that it's Warlock's birthday she teleports the team to Madripoor to celebrate. She later joins the team during their final mission against True Friend, an evil future version of Cypher. She is last seen attending a house party at the New Mutants residence in San Francisco where she assists in helping take down Tyro. Warlock's adopted charge. Blink returned as a resident in New Tianan Secret Empire storyline, along many other mutants. Ancestry In the Apocalypse vs. Dracula miniseries written by Frank Thierry it is revealed that in London, 1897 Apocalypse's genetic descendants called the Clan Akaba had a member called Frederick Slade. Slade was characterized with pink hair and eyes that were tinted green and he had the ability to teleport himself, others and selected objects with a blink effect. In the hope that the clan Akaba would still continue Apocalypse's servant Ozymandias, made sure that Frederick would sire a child with a woman known as Miss Ferguson. Given the similarity in powers and illusions made within the miniseries, it is assumed that Clarice Ferguson Blink is a descendant of the 19th century Frederick Slade and Miss Ferguson and therefore a descendant of Apocalypse. Slade showed up still alive, but elderly in an issue of New Excalibur and leading a new clan Akaba along with Ozymandias. Powers and Abilities 
Blink has the ability to teleport herself and others at will. Blink can teleport large masses, including sizable groups of people. She can also use her powers in a destructive manner, by teleporting only parts of objects. She can open portals that displace projectiles, and even enemies that threaten her. Blink's portals are typically pink and accompanied by a blink sound. Blink also has lilac skin, dark pink hair, pointed ears and pupil less green eyes. She also has pink marks across her face. These are not decorations or tattoos and were present from birth. Age of Apocalypse, Exiles Blink This version of Blink exhibited a more refined power set than her main universe counterpart. While the regular Marvel Universe version of Blink originally had little control over her abilities that only evolved after her rescue, the Age of Apocalypse Exiles Blink has mastered several methods of utilizing her powers. In addition to opening teleportational portals she can also focus her ability into short, transparent crystal-like javelins which teleport whatever persons or objects they touch. She can charge her javelins so they can cut through objects. By teleporting the matter elsewhere as they strike they can be charged to stun opponents unconscious by putting them out of phase. She usually keeps a supply of these in a quiver around her back but can make them one at a time. At will, her teleportation is always accompanied by a blinked sound, from which she takes her code name. She has proven many times to be a skilled hand-to-hand -hand fighter, and it is unknown whether her enhanced agility is the result of simple training or a consequence of her mutation. Early Years In the Age of Apocalypse storyline, Professor X was killed years before he ever formed the X-Men. An alternate reality unfolded into which the 5,000-year-old super-mutant apocalypse gained control of North America and implemented a genocide campaign against regular humans. Clarice Ferguson was born in Cartusia, Bahamas. Her purple skin complexion revealed her to be a mutant at birth. Her parents accepted this fact, but feared their daughter would not be accepted by the local population. When Clarice was four, the Fergusons moved to Miami, Florida in the United States. They hoped Miami would be home to a mutant population where an older Clarice would be able to socialize. Clarice was a child when Apocalypse took over Miami. Blink was discovered by Apocalypse's horseman Mr. Sinister, and his right hand the Dark Beast who experimented on her refining her powers. In the 2000 Blink Limited series, it is revealed in flashback that the mutant villain Sugar Man was, at one point the jailer in charge of cellmates Ileana Rasputin, and Clarice in the prison facility. Sabretooth and Weapon X members of the Resistance Force. The X-Men raid Beast's laboratories and rescue Blink. She becomes the unofficial adopted daughter of Sabretooth and always refers to him as Mr. Creed. Blink grows into adulthood with the X-Men. She is impulsive and not always willing to follow her orders but becomes an important X-Man. In a limited series which focused uniquely on her character Blink suffers partial amnesia and was briefly transported in into the negative zone where she is romantically involved with the amnesic Annihilus although he forces her to leave when he begins to transform back into his original form. Eventually, the X-Men encountered the time-traveling X-Man Bishop who set a course of events that prevented the death of Professor X, eliminating the Age of Apocalypse reality. Miniseries Blink had her own four-part miniseries within the setup of the Age of Apocalypse storyline. In it, she has a falling out with Magneto and travels to the Negative Zone to seek aid in defeating Apocalypse but due to the travel loses her memory. 
she meets a man named Armaya who turns out to be the leader of a freedom force dedicated in removing Blastar from the throne of the Negative Zone. Blink, not knowing who she is or where she came from, joins this force and in turn falls in love with Armaya who they both later learn is a previous stage of Annihilus who regressed to this point in his life after his last confrontation with Blastar and lost his memories. He was the one who Blastar took the throne from. Blink regains her memory and manages to save Annihilus before teleporting back to her own world to the X-Men who are looking for her. In a flashback in this series it is revealed that Blink was once cellmates with the Aowa version of Ileana before being rescued by Weapon. X and Sabretooth, and that both of them were abused regularly by the Sugarman who was their jailer at the time. Exiles Blink was later on mysteriously transported to a strange desert plateau, where she met a group of other mutants from various realities who had been unstuck in time. A cosmic monitor called the Time Broker explained that each had become unhinged from reality and their new mission was to visit various parallel worlds and correct wrongs, while the other exiles would each be returned to their own realities, but altered in some horrible way as a result of being unhinged if they failed to correct things. Blink was told that she would cease to, to exist. Blink became the leader of this group of exiles, her teammates reasoning that she was more removed from the realities that they were familiar with, and would therefore be better equipped emotionally to make whatever judgment calls might be needed if they were forced to fight former allies, and formed a relationship with her teammate Mimic. They went to many worlds fighting the Hulk, Galactus Weapon X Mojo and the Vilox among other enemies. On the world where a mutated strain combining the legacy virus and the techno-organic virus was taking over. Blink was infected by it. She was later cured by the intervention of the Norse gods. The exiles were celebrating when the time broker appears saying that Blink was going home. Blink is teleported away replaced by magic. However the Time Broker lied, and instead of sending her to her home dimension, she was quarantined in a previous reality the team had visited. There the exiles were paired up with Weapon X and given the assignment to kill a young child named David Richards who, left unchecked would become an all-powerful megalomaniac. Instead, Sabretooth opted to stay and raise the child so that he would not become evil. He had failed when Blink landed in Sabretooth's reality and helped him destroy Sentinels. David hijacked her teleporting ability and made her kill dozens of humans. Blink was emotionally scarred by the experience and it was hinted that she would have succumbed to this destructive tendencies up to the point of potential suicide had Sabretooth not saved her. She was later rescued and came back to the exiles after Sunfire died. For the next mission, they were given the task of dwindling down the ranks of the two teams to only six members by killing each other, while fighting Hyperion who seemed invincible Blink prevailed by teleporting his own laser attack back at him. Then Gambit, the official leader of the exiles, at the time, Time blew himself and Hyperion up thus completing the mission. Trying to throw off the team dynamic the Time Broker introduced Sabretooth onto the team. This caused Clarice to doubt her leadership abilities and defer to Sabretooth's advice. A fact that Mimic was not happy about. The Time Broker gave Blink a mission in which she was instructed to kill Mimic soon after but she refused. When she did the talus shifted from her arm to Sabretooth's, making him the de facto leader. The Time Broker then tried to disrupt the team by introducing Holocaust from Sabretooth and Blink's home reality into their ranks. He also sent the team back to the Age of Apocalypse. However, this had a rather productive effect. 
Holocaust became obsessed with finding the source of the Time Broker's broadcasts and experimenting. With a shard of the Imkran crystal, the exiles teleported into the Time Broker's base, Panopticron. Once there the team found that the resurrected evil Hyperion had taken over the Crystal Citadel, and had been manipulating their missions for quite some time. The exiles began to fight him again, suffering the death of Nemora and Holocaust as well as the near-fatal wounding of Morphin Mimic. However it was Blink once again who saved the day. Since Hyperion had learned his mistake, from the last battle Blink had to come up with a new strategy for defeating the powerful foe. She did this by teleporting a lot of sand into him effectively incapacitating him, and then marooning him on his desolate home dimension. As the events of the House of M warped reality the exiles found themselves in the midst of it. The mad reality warping mutant Proteus found himself reborn and was able to escape to another reality before Earth-616 was set right again. The exiles endeavored to track him down, since they felt responsible for his release. Proteus had discovered the existence of alternate realities via accessing the Talus. Shockingly, Proteus infected Mimic and Blink was unable to save him before his body withered away into a lifeless husk. This severely affected Blink, and Proteus seemed to retain some of Mimic's memories of he and Blink's relationship and purported to love her. Her relationship with Sabretooth was also affected. The man that she once looked up to as a mentor and called Mr. Creed was now only referred to as Victor, showing the distance that was growing between them. Swearing revenge, the exiles tracked Proteus down to the future imperfect reality but were unable to prevent the madman from taking another life. This time Proteus took the body of Morph but, with Blink's quick thinking she was able to trap Proteus in Morph's body by blinking a behavior modification crown onto his head causing him to believe he really is Morph. With a hunt for Proteus at an end Blink remained in exile to continue fixing damaged realities. She and the other exiles returned all former members of the exiles and Weapon X that were trapped in the stasis gallery to their home realities dead or alive. Blink was going to bury Mimic in the Panopticron Desert until Power Princess suggested that she check with Mimic's family on burial wishes. Blink returned Mimic to his home reality for burial, and spent some time with his version of the X-Men almost accepting their wish for her to join their team. After a mission where the exiles had to save Galactus, Blink once more called Sabretooth, Mr. Creed. Blink later left the team to take a break with Nocturne and Thunderbird on Heather's Earth. Blink is called back into action. When the new exiles are left inoperable after being immersed within the Crystal Palace, Morph summons her Nocturne and Heather to help create a new team of exiles, Beast Forge Polaris, Panther and the Witch. Blink is put in charge of this new team and pretends to be new just like the others. However she is found out at the end of their first mission. Neither she nor Morph have appeared since the abrupt cancellation of Exiles Vol. 2. After six issues, What If? An alternate version of this Blink appears in What If? Vol. 2.5. In this story Blink survives, but the other young mutants die in her place. Blink ends up in the realm of the cosmic entity known as the Inbetweener and Seams to kill him in battle. Blink uses her newfound reality warping powers to improve the world, and among other things causes human, mutant conflict to end. When she attempts to save the members of Generation X from their deaths the resulting paradox caused reality itself to begin disintegrating. Ultimately Blink undid all the changes she had made, and the in-betweener revealed that he had not died at all. He then took Blink on as his apprentice, training her in the proper use of her new powers. 
Ultimate Marvel. Blink was seen on a view screen and received passing mention during the selection process for Emma Frost's Academy of Tomorrow. However, she was ultimately rejected. Later, Blink is mentioned as having participated and been killed in the premiere episode of a mutant hunting game show run by Mojo Adams. Film Chinese actress Fan Bingbing portrays Blink in the 2014 film X-Men, Days of Future Past. In the film Blink is one of the few mutants left in a post-apocalyptic future, where the Sentinels have exterminated mutants. Brought to you by Wikivd.com What do you like to know more?